A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 1, verses 1 to 17, passage taken from the message version of the Bible. The family tree of Jesus Christ, David's son, Abraham's son. Abraham had Isaac, Isaac had Jacob, Jacob had Judah and his brothers. Judah had Paris and Zara, the mother was Tamara. Paris had Hazron, Hazron had Ram, Ram had Aminadab, Aminadab had Nashon, Nashon had Salmon, Salmon had Boaz, his mother was Rahab, Boaz had Obat, Ruth was the mother, Obat had Jesse, Jesse had David, and David became king. David had Solomon, Uriah's wife was the mother, Solomon had Rehoboam, Rehoboam had Abijah, Abijah had Asa, Asa had Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat had Joram, Joram had Uzziah, Uzziah had Jotham, Jotham had Ahaz, Ahaz had Hazakiah, Hazakiah had Manasseh, Manasseh had Amon, Amon had Josiah, Josiah had Jehoiakim and his brothers, and then the people were taken into Babylonian exile. When the Babylonian exile ended, Jeconiah had Sachio, Sachio had Jerobabo, Jerobabo had Abiah, Abiah had Eliakim, Eliakim had Azel, Azel had Sayak, Sayak had Akim, Akim had Eliah, Eliah had Elysia, Elysia had Nathan, Nathan had Jacob, Jacob had Joseph, Mary's husband, the Mary who gave birth to Jesus, the Jesus who was called Christ. There were 14 generations from Abraham to David, another 14 David to the Babylonian exile, and yet another 14 from Babylonian exile to Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 to 17. The Gospel presents the family tree of Jesus, mentioning names which are not so familiar. Who are all these people? Forty-two names of ancestors of Jesus are mentioned in the extensive genealogy of Jesus, while a few of those names are well-known biblical names. Abraham and Isaac, David the king, Solomon, Joseph the husband of Mary, but most of them remain obscure. Except in this passage, we seldom hear those names. Matthew's purpose of introducing the genealogy to begin his gospel was to show how human history was in the design and plan of God. A God who walked with the humans in the book of Genesis continues to walk with the humans in the New Testament. But this time, not as God, but as one among them. The family tree of Jesus reveals one interesting truth. Many of his ancestors had very dubious history. Some were murderers, prostitutes, cheaters. This insight should give us some much needed comfort that there is no such a thing as a perfect family. Jesus, God, himself chose to be born in a family of imperfect people. God knows that neither we nor our families are perfect. What the Lord expects from us is to have faith in him and to love him. Most of those in the list of Jesus' family tree, in spite of being so low profile and sinful people, but always remained loyal to God. Each of them had a role to play in the salvation history. Or rather, God allowed these insignificant people to be part of His saving plan. We too are part of a history. We too are the link in a genealogy in which sin and hope coexist. God walks into our history healing what is sinful in this history 
and enabling us to participate in His divine plan. This, our history, also becomes a history of salvation. All what He asks of us is to place our trust in Him and in His plans for us. May this Christmas become an event that transforms our lives.